So I'm going on a mission. I think that, I think I have decent style and I've had decent style for the past while, but the past year or two, my style has consisted of jeans and a solid color t-shirt every day. And I mean, Jamie comments often like, oh, another t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm going on a mission that I want to up my style this fall. I want to up my style. I want to look, you know, have a, like a, I want to be quote unquote stylish. This, this is pretty crazy. Seven years ago today, today, seven, or what's today? It's today the 27th or 26th? No, I think, I don't know. Well, on the 26th, I think, I think you go check it again. I was dropped off at college seven years ago, either today or yesterday, whenever, I don't know, but t seven years, that's crazy. Let's see, today is the 28th. 27th okay well I guess it shows you how tired I am so today's the 27th dropped off six seven years ago today I'll make that seven years ago yesterday 26th so I just finished filming a uh, the live visualizer thing whatever they're called to I need the sudden break uh, while I was out there bullet was being mad annoying like ran off twice to go say hi to people it's a very friendly dog let me tell you that uh, now I'm, I'm gonna sit down and just work on TikToks actually and work on making them as like like I have to do the um put the text over them like the lyrics so I'm gonna just sit down and do as many as I can right now um and then so I don't have to do it every time I want to post I have them pretty much all ready to go and I just have to press the button to post so I'm um, accidentally I didn't mean so I didn't mean to actually go through the actual car wash like this uh I just, the outside of my car was a little dirty, so I figured I'd go for an exterior wash. But the guy was like, okay, just drive through. So I'm chilling in the drive through <laughs> while it's going. All right. So I'm about to work on the vlog, but I thought, it's funny, I was supposed to, I was planning on working it while I was at the car wash, but I, it took like three minutes to go through that thing because I was just not what I expected. So here I am now working on it now. Look, I have a kid already with food in the seat. Thank you very much, Bullet, for leaving a treat there for some reason. So, as for my comment from before, oh, it looks like they're finally cleaning up that wire. That wire has been down for almost, almost exact over three weeks. And we've been having to like go different routes to get home because it's been over the road and I don't know what took so long, but glad that it's finally up. Uh, as for my comment this morning, I am going uh, on my way to this place called Plato's Closet, which is a uh, essentially like a, a thrift store. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But only they buy back clothes, so you can actually instead of donating your clothes, you you, you sell it to them and have. But it has to be trendy. They actually have to like accept it. Um, and but it's like secondhand clothes, and I I like it because it's like you know it has the ethical vibe to it. You know I'm. I'm I try very hard. I haven't in a while, and I kind of fell off the bandwagon a little, just being full disclosure. But I am, I am a, a um, I do like purchasing f uh, fair trade clothing and stuff. But the problem is, it's so expensive. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm for it though. But like, I do the best I can. That being said, the next best thing is uh, like the fair trade, or sorry, the, the secondhand market, which I've gotten some really good clothes from there. Actually, that Yankee hat that you see me wear all the time, that regular, just plain old blue and blue and white Yankee hat, I got that from there like three or four years ago. That was a thrift shop buy, five, five dollars. You know how much that would have cost? Like authentic, like brand new? Come on now. What a deal, man. So I got three things and it was, one was a, a, a sweatshirt. It was, I think, $8. One was, a t-shirt that was six dollars and one was another t-shirt that i believe was either six or eight dollars um but then they asked like my phone number and like asked if i had a rewards card so i gave them my phone number for the rewards and it turns out i had ten dollars off so all that together only cost twelve dollars and fifty cents what a steal man what a steal so as i was going out and uh doing getting doing that shopping i uh, was watching a youtube video or listening to a youtube video of one of my favorite finance youtube guys where he talks about uh, shout out to meet kevin actually meet kevin is the youtube channel i watch very often actually um and it's meet like oh it's nice to meet you meet kevin and we, he was talking about like his income from youtube and stuff or actually his income monthly income and breaking everything down from his investments to his stocks to his um what's it called 
to his YouTube channel to all this stuff, you know, his affiliates, all that stuff. And um, it got me thinking just about my YouTube channel and upping it and, and trying to produce as much content as possible. And I don't know, it just kind of inspired me to do a little bit more content of like, you know, how, like, like how to's of the beginnings of, of production. You know, it's like I say, like I want to be, I want my, my income to be coming from like, you know, making actual music. But you know what, if that can get me one step closer and you know, like kind of pull also away like from uh, like giving lessons and stuff like that, you know, it might be worth a shot. I don't know, that's just how I'm thinking right now. So I'm gonna film some right now. Pull it. Why is this door open over here? This door, it looks like your food. Is he in? Huh? Huh? Is somebody gonna be very full for dinner? Cause somebody sucked their head and the thing. Oh, you know you did it, huh? You know you did it. Well, did you eat out of here? Did you eat out of it? Well, no. No, oh, you definitely did. No, you definitely did, huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you know you were wrong. Uh-huh, come say you're sorry. Uh-huh. All right, so I just wrapped up the uh, live stream. Uh, went live for about a half an hour, giving some uh, general breakdown on how to, uh, like the, the, I guess the beginning stages of music production. It was a little hard to do though, because uh, it wasn't a lot of communication, so I didn't really know what to talk about. You know, I brought up some, some interesting, what I think were interesting points. But it's just interesting, like it was hard to do when there was only a couple of people there and not many people like interacting. So I was expecting a little bit more and actually more expecting people to be like, oh, how do I do this? Or what's that? Or, oh, my bad. Uh, you know, stuff like that, as opposed to me kind of just having to think of things off the top of my head. Um, but it's all good, whatever, it's all good. Continuing to catch up on the vlog journal saga. Did I tell you that July 3rd was six years of doing it? Writing journal every single day, every single day for six years. Crazy. After dinner, catching up with an old friend at the table.